Alright, this one's going to be on WinQ console. Basically, it's a um, quick style drop down terminal that you can use on Windows. Uh, on my Linux, I use Quake and Yaquake, depending on you know GNOME or KDE. But uh, if I ever use Windows or if I need Windows, I'm probably going to use this program. And the WinQ console is basically short for Windows Quake console. So let's open it here. And that's it, it just opens. Now the default hotkey to access it is uh, the Windows key and the tilde key. Um, what is it? The tilde is under your escape key here. All right, let me see here. There you go. So Windows and tilde, it'll open your, um, you know, your console here like that. And you know, whenever you need it, you just pop it out, pop it in like that. And you can do like all your commands like dir, uh, CD uh, dot to go back. Let's do dir again. CD. Let me see here. Let's go to Oracle. Right. Dir and then CLS to clear. So something like that, really quick. And I'll probably show you in the future how to get some Linux applications on here from the console. But um, other stuff you can do with this program is. If you want to like customize it a little bit, let's go to all programs here, and then go to Quake Console and configure. And here you don't you don't really have that much, you know. You can do like start at logon if you want this to automatically start up. Uh, the other one is make sure you have, you know, your CMD in the right place. <coughs> uh, in the appearance here. You know, you can change your font size or whatever, some colors and some transparency backgrounds and stuff. Not that important. Uh, the palettes, play around with that if you want to. The engine, this is where you can change your hotkey. So the default hotkey was the Windows and tilde, something like that. But I like to, you know, just use the tilde. But you can change it to whatever key you want, like Control D F or something like that, or Control. Alt H or whatever you want, right? The speed here, I would probably say, you know, set it to a higher speed, and then this thing will pop out uh, quickly, right? But that's all you can do in there, okay? Uh, the weird thing about this is, if you want to close it, you have to have to go to uh, what's it here? Close console. So it's kind of weird, but that's how you would close the program. Uh, you know, you have to go into here and then click on this close console thing here. So I really do like it, you know, you pop it out, do whatever you want and you know, pop it in and then you're gone. So if you're like a Linux user or maybe you want to be a Linux user in the future, then maybe you, you would use this on Windows first, get used to it and then uh, you know, uh, when the time comes you want to switch over, you can do that. All right? But that's it for this one, I'll give you the link in the description to download it. It's just a installer. All right, that's it for this one.